Good morning. This is day two. We built the roof rack. We uh, did learn yesterday that pressure treated wood, the new kind of pressure treated wood, has copper in it. Melissa did the research on the copper. And uh, it, it can't, it's not compatible with aluminum. And our entire roof's aluminum, so we had to take the roof rack down. And uh, yesterday, right into the evening, we, we painted the, the wood so it wouldn't uh, leach. And then we're going to cover everything with rubber that's touching aluminum directly. So that kind of put us off a day, and we hope to have the panels up. We're going to do that today. This afternoon is supposed to get quite windy, could get exciting, um, but we're going to do our best to keep uh, the panels on the roof and, and not crashed. So now join us while we get ready. So, we got uh, stainless steel bolts. I think that's very important you get stainless steel bolts. It won't rust that way. And they are expensive. You generally have to buy them individually. I think they're about 60 cents each. And uh, we got stainless steel nuts too. And the nuts are actually going to be on the inside, so it might not matter as much, but uh, the nuts are the cheap part, maybe 20 cents each. So, that's what we're, we're trying to fit in here. I'm just going to check this fit. Be a little tight. A little bit bigger on the bottom. Good to know now. So you're going to want to draw a diagram first, how you want to do your panels. Um, so we did one first. We are doing ours in the positive to negative way. It's going to up the bolts. And uh, right here they have a connection. It's right at the top. I put it up there. The connections only go one way, so that's pretty good, uh, positive and negative. And I'm going to do it so that we can reach everything. The wires they give you are just over half the length, so that's perfect. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this one up to the front, right here. And we're going to go ahead and take this panel. Oh, we're going to go ahead and turn this panel around. Over 
here. Situate them how we want them. And on this sense, we're going to put them on the left side of our trailer. That way we can put more panels if we want, more than 400 watts. So we can put a canoe on one side, something like that. Um, this trailer is a 12 foot trailer and we could put, without the max fan, we could put, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We could put at least 900 watts, probably a thousand, one kilowatt right up front there if we laid everything out, but uh, we'd have the max fan in the back, which could get in the way. So we don't need that much power. We need to use it. This is what we're doing right now. I'm going to line these up kind of how I want them. Hey, Chris. Yeah. You probably want these rubber things, don't you? I don't know what the rubber things are. To so put underneath the aluminum that you're going to screw down? Oh, yeah. Putting some rubber up because it's going to be touching the... The aluminum brackets are going to be touching the, the wood, which is pressure treated, treated. and um, we want to make sure that we have rubber in between so they're not touching.